Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Pichapati and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how can we create a utility which creates a Delta DDL. Okay, so for an example, we have this uh, table and we have this schema of this table and we have to create a DDL. Okay, a DDL or we can say we have to create a Delta table. Okay, so right now, we have only one table so like we have it in this create table table name this is the schema using delta location we have provided okay but in my case i have around 20 tables okay so i have 20 tables okay and 20 table schema correct now in this case what i'm going to do what i have to do is that i see the first method is that you know i can i can write down these statements okay this statements 20 times in each cell or you know in in one cell also i can write it down and i try and then i'll try to run this notebook so my work will be done but the thing is why i have to write the same thing okay same thing in each cell just just uh, just uh, i need to change this uh, table name and the schema of this and even the path right so what i can do if i make uh, one utility utility things i uh, know which by which you know i just pass the pass the table name location uh, schema then everything will be will be taken care okay <clears throat> so for that what i will do what i will do is that <clears throat> see First, I will <coughs> first I will try to write one function. Let's say delta table. And here I will take two parameters. One is table name, and second one is the schema. I will use here try, and then I will use Spark dot SQL. And here I will write the statement. Okay, create table if not if not exist okay and then here what i need to pass a table name correct uh, table name and here i have to pass the database name so database name let's say i'm passing here testing dot and then here i have to pass my schema so i will pass here schema let me write down the schema variable and here table name variable right and then i will write here using delta correct using delta and then location location and here i will write here uh, file file store tables delta and then table name table name and here i will use format <coughs> cool right and here i will use accept exception as err error and if this comes then i will try to print <coughs> one message saying error occurred some space and then str of err <coughs> okay i hope that's clear now if you can see here for this case what i need to do i like uh, i have to call this function by passing the table name and the schema so now i have to prepare one kind of uh, json okay which will have the table name and the corresponding schema for that so for that what i will do let me write down here a ddl schema something like that and here let me prepare one let me prepare one json so here also i am pass table name and here let me pass a table name let's say testing a1 comma schema so uh, uh, for for 
for table testing underscore a1 the schema would be id integer and uh, age integer okay so this is the one json now i will copy the same thing and paste it over here i just change the name and let's say here i am using name and name would be in a string format correct likewise we have multiple tables like in the table info table and a schema correct <coughs> let me remove this now if i run this and if i try to print this variable then we'll see what will happen See, you can see like it got printed now what I will do I will try to upload you know I will try to upload <coughs> this JSON into one location okay so for this case uh, to load the file I will use dbutils.fs dot put okay and just give one you uh, are uh, location file store tables uh, DDL schema json something like that uh, dot sorry dot json and then i will pass this variable ddl schema comma two cool fine now suppose you are in a production environment or you know in a dev environment so right now for your understanding i have i have created this schema in this notebook but you can create the same schema or same json thing into your notepad plus plus or different uh, different software ids right then manually if you have access then manually you can upload that things into the ads location if you do not have ads location then you can put it in the blob storage location or maybe in the dbfs location okay how you can do simply go to this data option create table dbfs not db upload upload file option just uh, go to this drop down drop files to upload and then you can click uh, you can upload the uh, target file <coughs> okay but I am using uh, a code way so uh, mm, yeah it, ha it has been again so if you want to you know validate it then how what you can do you can just simply write down select SQL select star from <coughs> JSON and then give this path and if you run this then you will see like you know you will get the same uh, same thing into the tabular format see this is the table name and this is the schema for this uh, table now i will just remove these things because it is not required now <coughs> cool so this is the function now what i will do i will create i will create a main function okay and here what i will do i will use again try and uh, uh, what i will use here yeah so i will use one data frame and i will try to read i will try to read a json file okay json the json the schema json file <coughs> cool and then what i will do i will just write here for i n d f dot collect okay and then i will try to call this function okay for now what i'm i am trying to do i'm just trying to print i you know for your understanding so what's happening under the hood so accept exception as err same thing just paste it mm, why it's happening like this mm, cool uh, now 
just try to run this main function now you can see this you know uh, this uh, uh, <coughs> this paint uh, I uh, painted like this so what if if I use here a schema not a schema first the parameter would be table name and second parameter would be schema so if I do like this and if I try to call the main function again then you will see uh, the value would be like this T table name schema table name schema now you can see like now I will call this delta underscore table function okay and pass this value you know as a parameters and for your understanding I can write here print statement and write done and I can also pass here table name to understand you know whether the table has been created or not this is also done this is also done right and now just run this function now what if if I just try to describe a table testing dot testing underscore a1 right and if I do a SQL then you will see that our okay testing database is not found cool so I just uh, try to cancel this command and first I will create a database so I can get a database using a SQL command like this create create database if not exist a uh, testing okay run this now simply run call the main function okay now you can see it is getting created and now if I do this then you can see then you can see the table has been created column name data types comments right and if I do this uh, a2 okay you can also see uh, this ID and name comes right because I have provided for table uh, like testing underscore a2 uh, name instead of age right now if I do this uh, describe table extended now you can you can also see the location of this is dbfs file store table delta testing a2 okay the provider is delta 2 type is external okay likewise if I do for table uh, testing underscore a1 then you can see you can also see over here that uh, you know <coughs> the location is testing underscore a1 because I have provided the location like this cool now you can also incorporate here uh, the logger things so for this what I can do I just I just use a logging and here what I can do I can use uh, I can write logger is equal to logging dot get logger and underscore underscore name okay okay this is done and now here what I can do I can just uh, write here some message logger dot info okay that creating creating a table if if anything uh, wrong happens then I can give this uh, div like uh, write like this logger dot error and here I can pass the same thing error occurred due to this region Just try to run this and the same thing I will I will do for the uh, another function okay uh, uh, let's say uh, okay and do the same thing for here so for the main function I have to I have to uh, change the message so let's say reading reading JSON file from the location okay this is also cool and if I run this again then the, the things will be skipped because 
because our table is already being present so you can you can also write down drop drop table if exists uh, that command also here to you know first drop it and then get it so for this use case like for this utility or for this function you can avoid a multiple uh, multiple multiple delta statements or ddl statements okay if you want to create it so see what's happening what happened now in future suppose right now i have two tables for an example in future uh, maybe it happens that you know uh, 20 tables comes you know 20 tables they said like the, you have this uh, table name and there's a schema now you just just create a ddl now since i am maintaining a json file into our external location a DDLs, I mean a DDLs blob or so on. So I do not need to deploy anything, anything in our database. We can avoid a, de uh, a deployment. So what we I will do, I just maintain this uh, this uh, JSON file and upload into this location, and I will ask my uh, admin teams or whatever the team is, key that you know just run the run this job. So automatically, uh, automatically our DDLs will be created we don't need to deploy the whole notebook whole database okay so i hope you have understood this concept and if you do do like and share with your friends so that you know everyone will get benefit and i hope you are liking my videos if you do please share with your friends uh, do comments do you know and do repost uh, my my post over the linkedin or you know just share videos uh, to your video friends or with your colleagues so that it would be uh, great for me or you know it's 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 give me motivation also you know to create a more videos for you so chalo iske liye yahi pe rakhte hain and i hope you understood the concept and uh, yeah thank you bye bye